Hello everyone, I welcome you all to Manu Law Classes Daily Current Affair Analysis. In this particular analysis, we will do discuss our news from 4th July Delhi edition, the Hindu newspaper. So our main focus in this particular analysis will be on NATO Plus. NATO Plus country, it has been in news quite since a long time. Apart from that, we will also discuss greedflation, what this term is. We will discuss in detail about it. And we will also study about the SEO summit, which India is hosting, but it is hosting it in virtual MOOC. So these are our main topics, which we will discuss in this particular video. So let's start our discussion with the very first topic that is about the SEO summit, which India is basically hosting. So India will host it virtually. It is not being conducted on person as it was decided earlier. Now it will be conducted virtually with Russian President Vladimir Putin, Chinese President Xi Jinping and Pakistani Prime Minister Shehbaz Sharif and also the Central Asian President and also Iran will also join as it is the new member of SCU. So you have to comment it out in comment box that how many countries are part of SCU, okay? Now, basically, in this particular summit, an important outcome, we will see a lot of important discussion and details about the New Delhi Declaration. Apart from that, we will see that on countering radicalism and on digital transformation, various types of, various types of commitment will be done. So, various type of cooperation and commitment it will happen in the in this particular declaration and also the important part is new delhi declaration and also countering radicalism and the digital transformation apart from that in regard of the economic cooperation the agreement initiative will be negotiated but it is suspected that india will not sign it because of the problems with the earlier bri or the belt and road initiatives which earlier India didn't sign and also India is suspecting it that it is not in its favor. So that's why India will not sign economic cooperation. So these are the four type of cooperation which will be signed in this particular summit. So as we already discussed that it will, it was originally planned as an in-person summit, but now it will be committed in a virtual way. So you have to just remember this point virtually help and all the important outcomes of this particular declaration. Our next news is with regard to India refiner said to start paying in yuan for Russian oil. So basically, as we all know, after the Ukraine Russia crisis or Ukraine Russia war, the West country they have imposed a lot of sanctions being imposed on Russia. So they cannot trade in dollars that's why in order to trade with russia we are like we are finding the alternate so usually either we do trade in yuan or we do trade in the russian currency so that's why this was in news that in india refiners they are basically paying in yuan for the russian oils which they are trading so they are finding an alternative of the us dollar okay our next important news is with regard to this particular initiative or this particular action which was taken by government of india article 370 abrogation so as we all know that there was a lot of debates and discussion which were going on with regard to this move of government article 370 abrogation so that's why a lot of section of people they were not happy with this decision so they filed a case in supreme court and here, what is important is that which bench is basically leading this course. So basically, constitutional bench, which will be led by Chief Justice D.Y. Chandrachur, he will take up this court, court case. And apart from that, five other judge, that is Sanjay Kishan, Sanjeev Khanna, B.R. Gavai and Surika, they will basically be associated in this particular constitutional bench. So these five judges, their names are important. Apart from that, what is important is the historical aspect of this Article 370. So, as we all know earlier, Kashmir was, after the independence of India, Kashmir was not like, 
it didn't accepted or it didn't came into india union on its own after the independence it signed an instrument of succession accession after signing this instrument of accession it joined india so basically in this in order to make jammu and kashmir its part india introduced a new article that is article 35a into the constitution and basically it was introduced by president rajendra prasad to his ordinance made by president rajendra prasad in 1954 and through this particular ordinance article 35a was inserted in the constitution and jammu and kashmir became a part of india with special power and with special status so this special status was something which was like contradictory and which was giving an autonomy to the jammu and kashmir legislative assembly earlier but now after this abrogation of article 370 jammu and kashmir was made union territory with legislature you have to comment it out in comment box that how many union territories of india have legislative assembly okay moving further toward our next important news that is this particular news where cm using public fund to get face lift bjp says after apex court order so basically the point is here that our party is saying that they don't have enough fund to contribute to the rapid railway transit system project basically this particular project is aiming to reduce carbon dioxide emission and because of that this because there is a lot of pollution in delhi we all know about it aqi is very bad of delhi so that's why in order to curb that this project was basically introduced rapid railway transit system and this will be helpful in making direct connection of delhi with meerut so basically it will also like faster option to reach meerut or reach ghaziabad all these areas so basically for this particular project a lot of money is required and the delhi government is saying that they don't have enough fund so that's why the supreme court the court apex court said that they have to like release their what they are spending on public fund and how much they spend in advertise okay so this was in news apart from that our next news is about high court rejects sishodhya bail plea serious charges against him so basically yahan pe important kya hai this triple test this triple test which is basically conducted before granting bail bail grant karne se pehle triple test karwaya jata hai triple test mein teen provisions hote hain sabse pehla provision hota hai ki when the person will get bail so kahin wo bhag na jaye he will not flee second is wo evidence ke sath temper na kare या थर्ड होता है कि वो विटनेस को अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल तरीके से कुछ चाहे वो आपको कुछ पैसे देना हो या कुछ एविडेंस विटनेस इन दोनों के साथ टेम्पर ना करे और वो भाग ना जाए तो ये ट्रिपल टेस्ट होता है और उसी के बाद बेल प्रोवाइड की जाती है तो यहाँ पे बेसिकली जो आपके डेप्यूटी सी एम जिनके अगेंस्ट केस चल रहा है अभी मनी लॉन्ड्रिंग का तो यहाँ पे इनको अरेस्ट किया गया है और यहाँ पे ट्रिपल टेस्ट करवाया गया और इसमें ये फेल कर गए और इसीलिए इन्हें बेल नहीं मूविंग फर्दर टूवर्ड आर नेक्स्ट इंपॉर्टेंट न्यूज दैट इज दिस पर्टिकुलर स्कीम वेयर जम्मू एंड कश्मीर अप्रूव द प्लान फॉर अलॉटमेंट ऑफ द लैंड टू द लैंड सो हेयर बेसिकली द लेफ्टिनेंट गवर्नर ही इज अप्रूविंग अ प्रपोजल फॉर अलॉटमेंट ऑफ फाइव मार्लास और दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट थ्री वन कट ऑफ लैंड इट विल बी प्रोवाइडेड टू द लैंड अंडर विच स्कीम अंडर द प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना ग्रामीण स्कीम सो दिस विल बी अस्टोरिक मूव इट विल डेफिनेटली हेल्प इन लाइक लैंड री अरेंजमेंट प्रॉपर्टी अरेंजमेंट एंड इट विल हेल्प द पुअर पीपल और द लैंडलेस पीपल एंड अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट अंडर द प्रधानमंत्री आवास योजना ग्रामीण फेज थ्री there was also a provision which was made to provide home to the landless beneficiary who were eligible for getting housing assistance so this is an important news this is an important scheme just please do read about pradhan mantri awas yojana gramin okay moving further toward our next important article that is with regard to the palanhar yojana 
सो यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर इन विच से पालन हार योजना इज बी इम्प्लीमेंटेड सो द आंसर इज राजस्थान सो हेयर गहलोत ट्रांसफर्ड रुपीज वन फोर्टी सिक्स करोड़ टू एट चिल्ड्रेन एंड सीज वी टेक अप द गुड वर्क स्टार्टेड बाई अदर्स सो बेसिकली दिस पर्टिक्युलर स्कीम द पालन हार योजना स्कीम इट वॉज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड बाय अर्लियर बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट वेन वसुंधरा राजे शी वॉज द चीफ मिनिस्टर एंड हेयर द मनी इज ट्रांसफर थ्रू डायरेक्ट बेनिफिट ट्रांसफर एंड हेयर बेसिकली द ट्रांसफर ऑफ फिफ्टी नाइन पॉइंट थ्री ए करोड़ वॉज डन फॉर जून टू फाइव पॉइंट नाइन टू लैख बेनिफिशियरी एंड एट्टी सेवन पॉइंट थ्री सिक्स करोड़ फॉर जुलाई इन फाइव पॉइंट नाइन वन लैख बेनिफिशियरी नाउ who is eligible for this particular scheme is orphans or other eligible for this particular financial assistance is those children whose parent have been sentenced to death or life imprisonment children of widows receiving pensions children of parents suffering from hiv or aids leprosy and silicosis and children of divorced or abandoned home so these are the children they will be properly taken care of by the rajasthan government under the palan har scheme and they are called labharthis okay moving further toward our next important news that is with regard to tamil nadu flag shortage in its share of the kaveri water here important thing is this mekadatu issue or the mekadatu project this particular project here it is a bone of contestation between karnataka and tamil nadu this particular project was basically made on the confluence of kaveri and akravathi river so this point is important which river are being covered in mekadatu project so it is kaveri and akravathi and this is a point of contestation for both the state karnataka and tamil nadu regarding how much water these states will get from this project so this was in news this is the important point moving further toward our next important article that is of nato plus alliance so here we have to first discuss about what is going on basically the nato focus is on south asia as we all know so the united states permanent representative to nato whose name is julian smith please remember the name julian smith is the united nation permanent united state permanent representative to nato she proposed that india should join nato plus or she extended the offer to india to join nato plus but india refused our external affairs minister s j shankar he refused because we follow the principle of non alignment we are not aligned to either russia side or either to the america side. so that's why here when prime minister narendra modi again visited usa in june month so the senate of india caucus co chair mark warner please remember these names because they are important mark warner also proposed the same the nato plus fold to america so what is nato and what is nato plus this is important from our examination point of view first when we talk about what is nato so we know it is a trans atlantic military alliance of 31 countries earlier we used to read about 30 country we in recent time in around april 2023 finland also joined and soon sweden will also join this nato alliance so nato is a military alliance of 31 countries and maximum country belong to euro okay and after the dissolution of soviet union and end of the cold war era nato lost its relevance but now as the ukraine and russia war is going on nato is again gaining importance that's why we see that in april 2023 finland recently joined this particular military alliance nato and sweden will soon join so here india is being offered the status to join nato plus now what is nato plus is basically five treaty allies of the us that is australia new zealand japan israel and the south korea 
they are the members of the nato plus and they will be this particular alliance is basically made to enhance the global defense cooperation and to win the strategic competition with the chinese communist party the aim of nato is to provide military alliance and fight against a common enemy but the aim of nato plus is basically to fight or to curb the importance or the power of russia and china and for this particular goal joining of india as an alliance of nato plus is very important so that's why again and again usa is emphasizing that india should join nato plus so now basically here what the author is saying that why india cannot join this particular initiative nato plus is because we have good relation with russia also and also we can say that we have okay okay relation with china but we don't want to agitate them by joining nato so we don't want to agitate china or we don't want to anger russia by joining nato plus so the first problem with this particular alliance is that it is a nato framework and it will annoy russia and china if we will join so that's why this is the first problem because always whenever we needed help russia always helped us russia helped in our growth russia cooperated with us in a lot of things like in nuclear power or in the military defense technology we know that brahmos it is a collaboration of india and russia brahmos missile so russia is always a trusted partner of india in any condition so we cannot like risk our relationship with russia by joining nato plus the second problem is that it is a us led alliance and basically it will tempt china our western border or our eastern border eastern border with china and western border with pakistan they are in a very fragile condition so basically we need to defend our western and eastern border if we will join nato plus so what will happen our eastern border with china where we already see in our last day analysis we saw that in the pangong so lake what is happening both the sides china and india both are basically constructing a lot of infrastructure china is making a bridge and india is making a road so basically with china our relation will go in negative side if we join nato plus and it will also like china will be with suspicion because they will see that nato plus we are joining because we want to curb china's importance and this is the main goal of nato plus one okay the third problem is it will hamper india's strategic autonomy means strategic autonomy we already know that our mission is be non aligned we neither aligned toward russia nor we are aligned toward india sorry toward usa so that is the problem if we join nato plus it will be like an alignment toward usa so we want to maintain a strategic autonomy and this will help us to maintain our relationship with both side russia and also with the usa okay so these are the major points why we cannot join nato plus now if we see that uh, what usa is claiming that in terms of defense technology or in terms of military technology we will get technology within less time if we join this particular initiative nato plus but we can also get these things by other alliance which we already joined like quad we know that quad is a organization quad is a forum where countries like japan australia usa and india are a part of it so through all these things and through trust and dialogue we can get all the benefit which nato or usa is extending to nato plus countries okay so this was an important news now our next news is with regard to legality of delhi ordinance this news is also very important in the past few days this was a current topic so we need to know about it 
basically the background is that there was an ordinance which was passed by president on may 19 2023 and this particular ordinance basically amended the government of national capital territory delhi act 1991 now we all know that through 69th constitutional amendment we the delhi got a different status okay delhi was basically earlier demanding the status of state and bala krishnan committee it was basically formed to consider the demand of delhi being a state so basically after this the 69th constitutional amendment act it was passed and it provided a special status to delhi and made it the national capital territory of delhi through this particular amendment 69 constitutional amendment so here when this ordinance was passed before that also the services which have been given to the which have been given to delhi government because in this particular amendment the state government cannot make any rule or anything with regard to public order or land so these things are something in which government or the state government cannot make any law but apart from that in matters of services or any other thing which is enlisted in the state list the delhi government can make rules so that's why here the government is basically saying that they have the power to make rules with regard to the services but to this particular ordinance this power is taken and a new body has been made whose name is basically this particular amending the 239 aa which provided the power to make anything in any apart from the public order law or the land apart from these matters delhi government can frame any law which is listed in the state list but now through this particular amendment a new body is being formed that is the national capital civil services authority who chairman will be the chief minister of delhi and apart from that there will be a member which will be the chief secretary and also a home secretary who will be the member secretary so this particular body they are given a statutory status matlab wo ek law ke tahat banaya gaya hai through the ordinance they are form so this particular body are given statutory status but the problem here is this if some decision is being taken koi bhi decision liya jayega तो उसमें इन तीनों में से किसी दो मेंबर की सहमति होनी चाहिए टू मेंबर शुड एक्सेप्ट दैट डिसीजन और शुड प्रपोज डिसीजन और वोट फॉर दैट डिसीजन सो हेयर इफ द मेंबर सेक्रेटरी और द मेंबर दे विल वोट फॉर समथिंग दे विल इंट्रोड्यूस समथिंग सो डेफिनेटली द पावर ऑफ चेयरमैन और द पावर ऑफ चीफ मिनिस्टर हिज स्टेटस इज बीन इन माइनॉरिटी सो दैट्स द रीजन वाई the delhi government is saying that this is unconstitutional already supreme court has upheld earlier that in matter of service or in any other matter which is listed in the state list apart from the public order land or law delhi government has the whole authority to frame law but here by doing this this particular thing is being nullified as now the state or the center government or these officials or these bureaucrat has the power to make decision with regard to the appointment or the transfer of the civil servants so this was a bone of contestation this was the issue which is being dealt in this particular article moving further toward our next important article that is with regard to the greedflation you should know what is the meaning of this term greedflation first we will understand what is inflation the rise in the price of commodity that is inflation kisi bhi cheez ka daam badhna that is inflation right inflation refers to a general rise in the price level but what is the greedflation greedflation is basically kisi bhi ek sector mein koi company ya koi corporation dominate kar rahi to wo uske paas monopoly ho jayegi prices determine karne ke liye suppose ek koi dukan ho 
आपके घर के आसपास सिर्फ वही दुकानों उस पूरे एरिया में तो अब ये उसकी मोनोपली हो जाएगी कि वो चीज दस रुपए में दे या सौ रुपए में दे तो दिस इज ग्रीड प्लेशन एक्चुअली प्राइस इज नॉट राइजिंग बट टू इंक्रीज द प्रॉफिट देयर इज अ राइज इन प्राइस सो दिस इज ग्रीड प्लेशन you should know about this particular term because this is important greed inflation refers to the price inflation caused by corporate greed for the higher this was in news and this is important just remember this fact moving further toward our next important article a small article that is on the balasu train tragedy so here basically the report is saying that human error led to this whole train tragedy basically the multiple vessel in the signal and telecommunication department led to the balasore train collision and where 291 people were left 900 were injured and here it submitted its report to the railway safety committee submitted its report to the railway ministry ministry and said that human error led to this whole problem so this was a news and an important article so that's why we discussed it the most small article is with regard to the rbi report the rbi reports that 76% of the 2000 notes returned rbi said 76% of the 2000 bank notes in circulation has since been returned so the rest then came back to rbi okay so this is important you should know that 2000 note has been banned and only 76% as per the rbi report has been returned back to the so this is it for today we will discuss other important news in our next dna session where we will discuss our important news and the trending topics so thank you everyone stay tuned with manu law classes for further updates thank you